So this is Northfield High School on my left hand side where I was as a young man when I failed standard six at Queens High School. They brought me here to do standard seven and then took me out of this place because I had so many family for rebels and put me in Arcade Jewish Orphanage with Parktown Boys as my next high school. So I went to three high schools, failed standard three, failed standard six, went into standard seven and they pushed me into standard eight as well I think because <laughs> time was getting on and now they pushed me into the army. So I was a really pushed around guy, called a bloody Jew my whole life by mostly the Gentiles. However, there were a couple of Jewish people that also called me a bloody Jew. One was in the army in Poch, and the Gentiles put these two Jews, me and the other Jew, into a big circle. He was E Company and, and F Company, and they made us fight like two pit bulls. It's crazy. The devil made us do all these things. But now, I thank God, the cornerstone, Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, got hold of my beautiful life. And he's blessed me in abundance. Thank you, Father God, that as we drive past Cornerstone Church here, thank you for blessing them in abundance. And Leon, who's now walked there and standing outside. Thank you for Cornerstone Church. I didn't feel led to stop there because this video must, must not be too long. So I thank you. That was my old um, Bimbos in 1983, corner Louis Botha Avenue and just off Joseph. And I thank you now, it's a KFC, so come, you're all invited, right across the road from KFC, KFC, excuse me, my mouth is dry, I need some water. You see that there's a Cornerstone Church, and that's the one that saved me 35 years ago. And who is the Cornerstone? The Cornerstone is Yeshua HaMashiach, Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah, the Mashiach. His anointing saved us, my wife and I, but especially me. I'm talking about my life there by Cornerstone and Bimbos and Northview and Parktown Boys. Just by the way, Parktown Boys had a principal, Vice Principal Vicky Klavansky, and he was the my head boy at Al Qaeda Jewish Orphanage. And he said if all Jews and Gentiles could learn from the true Jesus and if they could read the whole New Testament. He said, Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, was the best Jew that ever lived. And if we learn from him, we'll take his love, his humility, his gentleness, forgiveness, salvation to the whole world. That was Vicky Klerensky. Thank you, Father God. That cornerstone, Jesus is the chief cornerstone. He has become the capstone, Psalm 118. So we can either have the cornerstone as a rock of offense in our lives or we can have him as the rock of ages the rock of gibraltar the chief cornerstone building our lives on the rock not on sinking sand because the devil is out there to kill steal and destroy but god sent jesus to give us life and give it to us more abundantly john chapter 10 verse 10. you see some beautiful jacaranda trees and the chief rabbi's office is around the corner here somewhere and we thank you father for lifting him up that he served quite a lot of days with ray mccauley he's heard the gospel he's seen some of the bad actions and mistakes and he's seen that we need to be blessed in abundance in jesus mighty name thank you father god there's no one like you and we love you in jesus wonderful name Thank you, Father God, for cam cameras. If people put them here so they can see where people make mistakes like that. But we don't want to do that. We want to say thank you for the Jewish people. We comfort them all over. The chief rabbi's head office and the Jewish school is over here. And here is the, what do you call it? This is the Baptist Church, the New Covenant Baptist Church. Thank you, precious Heavenly Father, that we lift them up in Jesus' mighty name. And we thank you for blessing them for comforting them. Thank you for all Jews are welcome to come to New Covenant Baptist Church in Jesus' mighty name so that they can be set free, that the captives can be set free in Jesus' name. Thank you. You said in Isaiah 1 verse 18 that we must comfort your people and speak tenderly to them and tell them their sins have been paid for double. 
New Covenant Baptist Church, full of love. You want to see a church that's full of love? New Covenant Baptist Church. Thank you, Father God, for your loving kindness and mercy in our lives. In Jesus' wonderful name. Amen.